Back in uh, September of 2008, when I learned that I had kidney cancer, uh, that was a really, really scary part of my life. I want to uh, succeed in this fight. And I want to have the right people to help me fight this disease. Designation as a comprehensive cancer center is the very highest level of endorsement by the National Cancer Institute, or NCI. UT Southwestern is the first and only institution in all of North Texas to have been designated by the NCI as a comprehensive cancer center. What's special about a comprehensive cancer center is the teamwork between scientists and clinical providers in enabling patients to have access to cutting edge new technology and clinical trials. Given the interactive and collaborative nature at UT Southwestern, I think this is one of those unique places where a structural biologist and, and chemist can all come together and bring a project from a seed of an idea to something that might potentially help patients. Richard was at a point where he was running out of options. He's participating in a clinical trial, and Richard is the first patient in Texas to receive this medication. I don't just do this fight for myself. I do it for my wife and my children. I want to be there for them. There are few institutions where the complete journey from gene discovery to the development of a drug is achieved, and UT Southwestern is one of them. Achieving the designation of Comprehensive Cancer Center was the crowning moment of all those efforts to bring research to the bedside. When I was first diagnosed, I had a 10% chance to live five years. I'm going on seven years now. The mission of the Simmons Cancer Center is to eliminate the burden of cancer in our community. And one of the most effective ways is to find it early. We are reaching out to the community on a larger level and doing things such as screening and prevention on a larger level. The best thing in the world is for someone to not get cancer. And there's a lot of things that we can do to help populations not get cancer. If we can find that an individual carries a genetic mutation that does predispose them to cancer, we can intervene to try to prevent cancer from occurring. My father's family had a pretty substantial history of cancers, um, which was scary to all of us. We ended up doing genetic testing and we found that she does carry a BRCA1 mutation that does put her at a higher risk for breast and ovarian cancer. It was determined that my best choice was to undergo prophylactic surgery. And indeed, what we discovered on the pathology was that I had two very small tumors in my fallopian tubes, but high grade aggressive cancers. Being part of a comprehensive cancer center, our pathologists, our surgeons, were able to use above and beyond protocols to really make sure that we're taking care of her the best way possible. Instead of a 40% chance of survival, my survival rates went up to about 93%. The genetics counseling is what really made the difference. The Simmons Comprehensive Cancer Center also serves patients at Parkland, as well as Children's Medical Center. So we have a large pediatric patient population as well. And I told my mom I was getting painful, painful headaches. And then they, she took me to the doctor that Saturday. That's when we found out I had brain cancer. I never thought, you know, cancer would hit my kids to see her cry because she's hurt and, and I can't take it away. It hurts. Having the Comprehensive Cancer Center designation has enabled us to work more easily with investigators at Children's Medical Center, and that will accelerate the pace of discovery and bring new treatments to the clinic as quickly as possible. I really want to go to school and I really want to be a lawyer and learn new things and be out there. With this designation and the support from the National Cancer Institute, we are able to accelerate our efforts toward that goal of curing and preventing cancer. Being diagnosed with cancer is not the end. You will get over it. You will get through it. If you ever go through this, just to know you always have somebody near you. I just feel really blessed to be at UT Southwestern because everything I needed was right here. I truly believe that if I had not come to UT Southwestern, I would not be here. <laughs>